Honestly, if I have one complaint about this entire game, it's how sad my main man looks in it. Look how happy he is in Dark Souls 3. Look how happy he is! Hey guys, Thing Fishy here, and today I'm going to show you how you can, in just a few minutes on any starting class, get a shield set up that allows you to take full advantage of two very powerful mechanics in Elden Ring the guard counter and the parry. So if you've played a Souls game before, you'll know about parrying. If you haven't, parrying is a way of cancelling an enemy's attack by knocking their arm away and opening them up for a very powerful riposte attack. Parrying enemies can be pretty difficult to get to grips with if you're just starting out because it has quite fiddly timing. If you want to learn more about parrying, check out my ongoing series, The Elden Ring Parry Guide. To get you started. Now new to Elden Ring is the guard counter and you can kind of think of this as a very beginner friendly parry. To do one you want to be blocking as an enemy attacks then hit your strong attack button or trigger as their weapon bounces off your shield. You'll then do a special strong attack and on most early game enemies this will break their posture and open them up for a riposte similar to what you've got with a parry. Now, up until I did my part three video in my parry guide series, I thought that you had quite a binary choice between these two options for your character. Parrying is much more consistent with small shields that don't give much damage protection, and therefore aren't great for guard counters. And guard counters require bigger shields with more protection, and these aren't great for parrying. But in part 3 of my video, we discovered the Storm Wall Ash of War. Fitting this Ash of War to a medium shield makes it far more consistent for parrying. So with this setup, as you can see here against Margit the Fell, you can use both parrying and guard counters together as part of your playstyle. So here's what you need to do to get there. We start a new character. I'm using the Wretch class, but you can pick whichever one takes your fancy. So once you've finished listening to all of the lore that none of us understand yet, head out into Limgrave and first towards the gatefront site of Grace to talk to Melina and get your wheels. Now it's time to get the shield. If you started as Confessor, you'll already have a 100% physical reduction shield, so you can skip this first step. So from the Storm Gate, you want to head north until you reach the Storm Hill site of Grace. From here, you want to head east past the Warmaster's Shack to this enemy camp here. Now, don't do what I did and grab this item. That's not the shield. The shield is over here in this chest. Quit out on opening the chest to de-aggro the enemies and give yourself some time to grab the shield and escape. Once you're out of the camp, you can fast travel back to Storm Hill. Now for the Ash of War. Carry straight on from the Storm Hill Road until you come to this broken bridge. Jump down it and you'll find a little scarab pushing his little ball around. Kill him and acquire the Ash of War. From here, walk back to the gate front. Finally, we head down into this little cellar beneath the gate front ruins to acquire the Whetstone Blade which allows us to fit our Ash of War to our shield. Then, all you need to do is equip it to your shield at a site of grace. If you started as the astrologer class, you will need one more level, I think, in strength to be able to use this. So just farm a few easy enemies for those extra runes. And that's it. How to have the perfect defensive setup in only a few minutes. I will leave a link in the description down below to a full play along video for those who want to follow along the whole route. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more Elden Soulsborne Nekiro Ring content. Thanks guys, see you soon.